Here we go. Seven eighths of a mile to go for Ricky Stenhouse Jr. He picked up his first career win here back in May. And all he has to do now is negotiate two more corners and he's going to do it again at Iowa Speedway. He dominated last week, Marty. Didn't get the win, but it looks as though he's got a little redemption in mind here tonight. He, oh, look out as he has a tire situation. Here comes Edwards right wow. into it. They cross the line, and guess who wins the race? Stenhouse. Well, thanks to Carl Edwards. Gave him a, oh, what a real crazy finish. Thing. Sadler comes across the line third, Wise fourth, Almirola fifth, and Reed Sorensen wins the hundred grand in the dash for cash. And Ricky wins for the second time, courtesy of a shove from Carl Edwards. If Carl could have avoided him, he would have won the race, but he had nowhere to go. He couldn't react quick enough. That was, I've never seen anything like it. I've never have either. Look at what's left of the front end of the fasten all forward. Oh my gosh. Ricky had a tire going down, which tells you how hard he was driving. It is official from NASCAR. The six car crosses the line first, as we saw it. There he is. <laughs> saying, hey, it may not look pretty, but I'm the winner. This has been an unbelievable race, has it not? <laughs> Let's, let's look at this. I want to be in the team meeting at Roush Fenway on Tuesday. I, I, that's all I know. It's appropriate that it finished this way. All right, take another look at this. Okay, all of a sudden, no, I don't it, think no, that's the tire. Engine. That's an engine. That's the engine. You're that's, right. Wow. And I wonder if Carl got into the field and he, couldn't steer. I would think so, because you'd think he could have missed it, but it, it's hard to say from up here. You're right, though. It looked it like a tire a, from there. He did a good job of just keeping Oh, he had smoke and oil, I guarantee I you. I think so. Just couldn't miss him. All right, let's just listen yeah. this time from Carl's perspective. You could hear the rear tire spinning. And, and you couldn't see anything, and neither could Carl. No, and he couldn't steer. All right, let's show you this finish. The margin of victory is 66 one thousandth of a second. Well, <laughs> he wasn't beside him, he was under him. <laughs> it, again, <laughs> it's appropriate that they came together at the finish because, yeah. you know, this has been brewing, right? So, yeah, that's Carl talking to Mike Kelly. I just got one. I love that. That's awesome. What do we got to do? Let him know because he could. Thanks for the push. <laughs>